hi everyone welcome to ssr classes today we have to prove root 3 is irrational number by using contradiction method so let's prove this so first of all let us assume that root 3 is a rational number so we take root 3 is a rational number and for a rational number we can express a rational number in the form of p by q form okay so we can write here root 3 equal to a by b and where a b are co prime integer or prime to each other i will discuss this in video in this video okay and b never be zero that's mean b not equal to zero all time okay now discussing about co prime or prime to each other okay two integer a b are said to be co prime or prime to each other so two integer a b are said to be co prime or prime to each other okay if a b have only one common factor keep it mind if a b have only one common factor that's mean one is the only common factor okay this is the concept of co prime or prime to each other let's explain this by ex taking ex example so two and three so two can be divided by two on self and two also can be divided by one so two have two divisor one and two so now 3 can be divided by 3 on self and 3 also divided by 1. So 3 has 2 divisor and the divisor are 3 and 1. So here the common divisor is 1. So by definition of co prime or prime to each other we can say that 2 3 has only one common divisor and the common divisor is 1. So 2 3 is a co prime number or integer or prime to each other okay well now taking an another example to express explain it easily let's take 4 and 6 now 4 can be divided by 4 on self and 4 also can be divided by 2 and 4 also can be divided by 1 so 4 has 3 divisor here 4 to 1 now 6 can be divided by on self 6 6 also can be divided by 2 and 6 also can be divided by 3 and 6 also divided by 1 so 6 has 4 divisor okay so we got 2 common divisor 2 and 1 which is contradicts our co prime definition so this is 4 and 6 is not a co prime number okay now squaring the above relation root 3 equal to a by b okay so squaring both side of root 3 equal to a by b we have so root 3 whole square equal to a by b whole square okay now simplifying this so this so this is 3 and this is a square by b square and cross multiplying so this is 3 b square equal to a square so this is 1 now we can write b square equal to a square by 3 here we can apply a theorem if a square is divisible by a prime 3 then a also is divisible by prime 3 now discussing the concept if 3 square is divisible equal to 9 by 3 so this is divisible by 3 then we can divide 3 by 3 okay take another example if 6 6 x square 6 square by 3 36 by 3 which is 12 so 
divisible by 3 so we can divide 6 by 3 take another example 9 square by 3 so this is 8 to 1 by 3 so this is 27 so it is divisible by 3 so we can divide 9 by 3 okay so this is the concept okay now so a has a divisor 3 other than 1 because we first assume a has a divisor 1 so here we got another divisor 3 now we can write since a divided by 3 so we can write a by 3 equal to c for some integer c okay now discussing the concept so if take a equal to 3 so 3 divided by 3 so this is 1 so we can write 3 equal to 3 into 1 again if we take a equal to 6 then 6 by 3 equal to 2 so 6 equal to 3 into 2 if we take a equal to 9 then 9 by 3 equal to 3 then we can write 9 equal to 3 into 3 okay if we take a equal to 12 then 12 by 3 equal to 4 so we can write 12 equal to 3 into 4 so from this we can write a is arbitrary so we can write a equal to a by 3 equal to c for some integer c okay and so this is implies so from this so from this we can write so a equal to 3 into c for some integer c okay now so this is implies a equal to 3 into c 3c now putting this in the equation 1 in the relation 1 so putting a equal to 3c in 1 in the place of a okay we have so 3 b square equal to 3 c whole square now calculating this so there is 3 b square equal to 9 c square now cancel the common factor 3 so this is b square equal to 3 c square so we can write c square equal to b square by 3 so this and this are similar so we can apply the formula by theorem if b square is divisible by prime 3 then b also divisible by prime 3 okay so then we can say that b has a divisor 3 other than 1 because we first assume b has only one divisor but we got here another divisor 3 so a and b has another common divisor 3 other than 1 and we assume that a b has only one common divisor and the common divisor is 1 which contradicts our assumption so this is contradicts our assumption because we first assume that ab has only common divisor because ab are co prime number so by definition of co prime number ab has only one common divisor so this contradicts our assumption so our assumption is root 3 is a rational number is wrong so therefore root 3 is not a rational number root 3 is a irrational number that's all thanks for watching please subscribe like and comment